Today I am going to try out my new mini maker grill, a dash. I already have the waffle iron, can you see that? And the um, flat griddle, and I like both of them. I love, 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 I love that little waffle iron. So when I went to the store the other night and I saw the little grill, I said, I have to try that. So, I bought it. There's the box. It's pretty cool. It says it's got a non-stick cook surface. I mean, you can read everything on there. I'm going to try it out and see how my hamburgers turn out. I've never done a little electric grill like this before, so this will be fun. Okay, um, I think it might be hot enough. I already made the... Uh, the hamburgers, the hamburger patties, spiced them up and added some onions. All right, see, there it is. I'm gonna close it. I have no idea how long it will take or what the results will be, but now I have to wash my hands. <sighs> Can you hear that? My house is kind of loud, but that's the sound of the hamburger and the little dash grill. Ah, oh, I can't wait to to taste it. I'm so hungry. I went ahead and I set the timer on my watch. It's been 1 minute and 15 seconds and it's still, 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 still grilling. Can't wait. I just checked it. It's been for 6 minutes. I'm sure it is done by now. Look at that. That looks awesome. I'm going to take it out put it on the bed of lettuce. Ooh. Well, now the question I have is what do I do with all that grease there? I'm just going to cut it open here and see for the first time. Maybe a little tiny bit of pink in there. But I think I'm going to take it off. Oops. <laughs> it's okay because I wasn't putting it on a bun anyway. No, I just have a bigger mess to clean up. So, how do we drain the fat from there? Do I just soak it up or do I pick it up and dump it in a bowl? What's your advice? What I'm going to do. Except now, that kind of made a mess. Ran down the side, right? Well, actually, that's not too bad. So, I'm going to try hamburger. Oh, I made that one kind of big. Hamburger number two. They're just little tiny hamburgers. We'll see how that one does. In the meantime, I think I'm going to eat this. Oh, and to go with my hamburger, let me show you. Hold on. I ah, yeah, yeah, right here. I have some sugar-free ketchup that I made. Yes. And, of course, I can use mustard. Hmm. So, the first burger is done, and I'd say it's a success. I put it on a bed of lettuce here. I have some homemade sugar-free ketchup to go on top of it. I have a second burger in the little dash mini maker grill. I think it's a success. I can see this would be great to take on a trip. Maybe hotel, in a hotel room or camping if you have electrical hookup. Why not? I'll let you know how this burger tastes. Just a minute. I how you clean the grease out of the little grill. And I bought it new, so I thought, oh, there must be a book in there that explains it. And I opened the box, there was no book. Well, somebody took it out. So my daughter, though, she read it, and she said, no. it suggests that you dab somebody the surface it with a paper towel. Oh, somebody didn't put it back in. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is there was a book with it, and it just says to dab the surface with a paper towel and soak up the grease which is what I thought might be the case, but it worked to, 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 to dump it out too. Blah, 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 blah. Can't talk today. Anyway, carefully dab the cooking surface with the paper towel. There you have it. Second one is done and I'm ready to take it out. Except I don't have anything except for a knife here. Ooh, doesn't that look great? Ooh. There we go. Now I'll dab the surface with paper towel to get the grease off and put the next burger on. As I was putting my homemade sugar-free ketchup on my deconstructed 
hamburger, I had a memory flashback to when I was a kid. And my dad would put ketchup on a salad, and I thought he was crazy. Except, that's what I just did today. <laughs> I thought, my dad was a genius. Putting the finishing touches on his burger. And there's the mustard, mustard, ketchup, lettuce, the hamburger all on a bun. Oh, my camera's going off, which means the patty. And, okay, don't look at my pot holder there behind, because that's the one I've set on fire a couple times. Okay, time to dab it. Put another one in. Okay, I made a whole bunch of burgers. Most of them got eaten. It took a while. I found out that four minutes was a good cook time for them. Right now, I am soaking up the grease out of there. I'll put a wet um, wash. I unplugged it. I'll put a wet washcloth in there so that I can clean it up easily. So it does get hot, and it does say hot surface there, so you know that. As far as... Um, Let's see, did I like it? I love it. Just like I love the little waffle maker and the little griddle. Now I love the little grill. I will be using this again. I would think if you only had to cook for one or two people, it would be perfect. I have more people to cook for, so would I make hamburgers on it every day? No, it would take too long. But for one or two people, it would be perfect. So I would say it's definitely worth the investment. I've got a whole bunch of regular waffle irons that I'm going to get rid of because this one is perfect. I just love it. I'm going to keep, um, yeah, you know, keep one, my favorite one, and then this one. And these are, these are great. Now I wish I'd got the silver color instead of black, but my daughter, when I asked her, should I get silver or black? She said, oh, get the black. But I kind of wish I'd pick the silver. They had pink in this color, but I didn't buy this new. I bought used at a thrift store, same with this one, but this one I got new. I'd never seen them anywhere before, except at the thrift store. When I saw them there, I was really excited about it. So I'm glad I found this one new. It worked really well. There are the burgers. So one final thought on the Dash Mini Maker Grill. Cleanup was easy. I thought it would be really hard to get that cooked on um, the hamburger fat that had burned in the bottom. It was so easy, it just wiped right out. It peeled right out so easy. Yep, I'll definitely be using it again.